All right, now to that big story. We're following in Prince George's County. Two children hit and killed by a van while walking to Riverdale Elementary School this morning. Sources tell DC News now the children are five and ten years old. Police have not released their names. The parents we spoke with say they were siblings and had just started going to Riverdale a few weeks ago. The crash happened around 8 this morning at Riverdale and Taylor Roads. Parents tell us they didn't see a crossing guard at that intersection. An ongoing problem they say might have made a difference today. There's been times when there have been like close calls. It shouldn't be that hard to get a crossing guard or somebody to stand in the street telling people where to go. Yeah, our Jan Maurice say he spoke to school leaders tonight, and they say this tragedy speaks to a growing need for safer roads and more crossing guards. Tonight, a community is coming together to leave behind flowers, candles, cards in honor of the two Riverdale Elementary School students that lost their lives this morning. Now, parents and school leaders I spoke with said this sheds light on a bigger issue, road safety, especially near schools. It was a ball of emotions like let me check on my children. How are they? Like, why is death, pedestrian death, plaguing Prince George's County right now? The death of two Riverdale Elementary School students hit and killed while walking to school shook the entire community Monday morning. Sources say the victims were 5 and 10 years old. My heart goes out to the families of both of the children who tragically lost their lives um, and all of the students and the teachers and the staff members. It also sheds light on a bigger issue Board of Education member Jocelyn Rout has been advocating for safe passage. I'm thinking about this as a teaching opportunity to really save our community and educate our community on strategies that we all should know but need to be reminded about. According to the Maryland Department of Transportation, last year Prince George's County led the state in pedestrian related crashes at 425. According to Prince George's County Police Department, 30 pedestrians died last year. And so far this year, 19 people have lost their lives. We all need to come together and really look at what safe passage looks like in Prince George's County and really come up with a comprehensive plan. What are the things that we can immediately do to change? Is it lighting? Is it uh, sidewalks? Is it crossing guards? Um, are there stop signs? Are they lighted? Yes, yeah, so recently the County Council passed the Walkable Urban Streets Act and that aims to design safer roads for pedestrians and drivers in new development areas. For now, reporting in Riverdale Park, Maryland, I'm Yamarisa Say, DC News Now.